Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the first game of a best of three here from the Golden Cup. This is the 2v2 portion of the Golden Cup Fall 2016. And this is going to be between uh, four Korean players, which is a huge number, yes I know. Uh, yeah, so Moon spawning in as the green night elf in the top side of the map, center of Grove. His ally will be Lin, spawning in as the green orc player on the on the right side. And they will be facing off against Oliet, the yellow night elf in the bottom, and focus on the left. So map is in Center Grove, as I said before. I've not actually passed it on this map, I believe. But um Yeah, it's always a first for everything, I guess. There are mercenary camps, so there could be potential value on a certain mercenary. Of course, I don't know if there are priests or, or, or uh, double trolls or not. It seems like Focus picked up a centaur of himself. Uh, it is actually stuck and might actually get himself killed there. Um, uh, just try not to aggro the entire camp. Honestly, if this one centaur is attacking, then he might be good. Like, he might be able to survive long enough for the rest of the units to get there. I, I don't know, it's, it might be a little too optimistic there. Seems like Loliet also got himself the Centaur on the right camp, and he is able to survive. So, nicely done there. Ancient of War is going to be placed down right in front of Focus's base. Um, seems like the Centaur did indeed die. Curious Ancient of War placement here. Um, normally, you place it next to... Uh, Night Elf players, Orc players could maybe deal with this uh, a lot earlier, maybe. At least it is placed far away from the Orc Burrow, so it doesn't get that early bit of damage so far. Um, yeah, heroes. Uh, it's going to be Blade Master Demon Hunter versus a uh, Blade Master Demon Hunter, so pretty much standard stuff here. Uh, standard 1v1 at least. Uh, Hunter Soul, so this might be the reason why we're going Second Ancient of War uh, to possibly enable the double huntresses, but it's probably going to get cancelled. The Centaur and the Blade Master is doing a good bit of DPS and it will be able to eh, get cancelled. And the Wisp, uh, not sure what it's going to do, it's just going to act as a scout for now. Um, it can detonate whenever it gets attacked, so there is that. Moon's Demon Under is taking a huge amount of damage. Nice pathing there from the Centaur. They actually have pretty nice uh, base speed, which is maybe one of the reasons why it was chosen so early on. It actually has this pretty much similar stats as the Grunt, it just doesn't have enough health to, uh, to supersede it, I guess. Actually, where is a Grunt? Uh... Grunt. How much armor do they have? Players okay, they do have one more attack. armor, but I think the almost 200 health difference is uh, going to make that big of a difference. I don't know how much they cost in the mercenary camp. I would love to know and determine whether or not grunts are just better. But, like, the, the upside of mercenary camps is you don't have to wait for the training time, so... It's, it's all good. The Fountain of Health is being utilized by the Demon Hunter over here. Uh-oh, this might actually be bad. Um, Demon Hunter is stuck, and... Oh, I think he's stuck. There's absolutely no way he can get out of this anymore. He could burn a TP scroll, but I don't know if it's worth it, especially for a level 1 hero. He might just uh, kill himself and... Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, he could have woken, woken up the creep camp, but uh, I don't know how much that could accomplish. Demon Hunter will fall. I doubt he can actually kill off uh, the enemy's Demon Hunter. Blade Master here is being chased down by Lol uh, by Focus's Blade Master. Lin has boots. He does have a speed scroll as well. Actually, no, he doesn't have boots. He just has speed scroll, so he's able to outrun the yellow Blade Master Blade's there. Forces are under attack. Did force all those cells to be burnt though, so that is kind of bad. Uh, Demon to get taken down the... Where is the Red Drake? I have no idea. There he is. Okay, the Drake has been pulled away from the Fountain. So this will initiate the camp to be started here. Uh, pretty much Secret Valley Strat, where you uh, drag the Dragon away from the Fountain of Health so it doesn't benefit from the healing. 
Uh, it does seem like a rather difficult camp regardless because of these centaurs. A lot of the centaur is no joke. And yeah, that is going to be Scroll the Beast being picked up by the Blade Master of Focus. Uh, ooh, very low hit point grunt there, but will the Huntresses be able to finish the job? Uh, maybe two or three more glaives should do it, but those grunts are doing a very nice job blocking, and that will be that. Uh, Red Drake has yet to be actually fully killed off, so um, full disengage from both sides, most likely. Seems like uh, Moon wants to get a little more. Oh no, that's not Moon, that's all yet. Um, yeah, kind of confused there. Um, I mean, no boost speed on the Demon Hunter, and he is at his opponent's base, so that does limit his options of where to run away from, but oh, it seems like Loliet has given up the chase, as I guess Huntresses are just slightly slower than the base speed of Demon Hunter. Level 2 for Lo uh, for Lin's Blade Master. he also has a plus 6 Claw of Attack, so, I mean, he's progressing Please pretty well in my opinion. Attack. Shadow Runner comes out as the second hero for Lin, and yeah, so far it's pretty much standard play from both sides, standard 1v1. In this 2v2, usually 2v2s are a little more wackier, but yeah, have not seen that just yet. No tavern heroes, uh, or at least no unorthodox tavern heroes here. Skull the Beast will be used, and Focus should be able to cancel these little Ancient of Laws there, so that's pretty good. Moon's got almost nothing in terms of like answering this back. Nagasiwas comes out as a second hero here, and getting good damage on the Blade Master, almost half, uh, actually over half health. Hex is gonna come in, and that might actually be a dead Blade Master there, so free kill. Nice uh, combo there with the Hex. I guess Shadow Hunter is just so powerful that you cannot afford to not get him. And that will be a couple of free grunts as well. It seems like the, the glaive battle is still underway. Loach, uh, low demon under four lol yet, so he should be rather careful there. Oh, the frost arrows do make it slightly dodgier because it makes the yellow color seem green, and that does put a lot of confusion in my mind. Uh, TV scroll will be used by both sides, and Loliet will go right back to his base. No tier 2 just yet, he is going plus 1, plus 1 in terms of upgrades, so um, going these particular upgrades means that uh, going the Sentinel upgrades rather than the Druid upgrades will most likely just be uh, extended tier, tier 1 play from uh, Loliet. It does not seem like he's going to go tier 2. Um, even if he does, he'll probably go... Maybe Hipgriff Riders to just make those upgrades like worth it. But right now he's got a lot of Huntresses, so yeah, he ain't running away anytime soon. Another plus that's actually yeah, another plus six close of attack there for the Blade Master of Lin. So he's already an uh hitting machine. Double circlets. It's he's already plus sixteen. No code of beast just yet, but I imagine it will be added fairly soon. Uh, Adept training for the Spirit Walkers is underway, nearly done. Uh, raiders are being trained, so Ensnare is probably already done. Huntresses will do uh, pretty good against those uh, Raiders, but Raiders also do pretty well against Huntresses as well. It's the uh, weapon and armor types that kind of screw them over. So we will see how well this goes. Dryads do fairly well against Huntresses as well. Um, yeah, it's a little weird, Huntresses, actually. Will they be able to hold their own against a tier 2 army? I don't know, maybe uh, plus 1 plus 1 upgrades might be able to uh, bridge that gap, but we'll see. Seems like a huge fight is ensuing. We do have the Spur Links enabled, and yeah, uh, Wisp being brought over to detonate those Spur Links. Here we go, and Snares are being cast on those front lines. They're not moving too much, so I don't know what the ensnares are exactly for. Scroll protection will be used for the yellow side. Detonations need to be a little careful when they're placed because it could cancel the protection aura there. Large chunk on Loliet's uh, Demon Hunter, and that will be a very quick kill there. Um, despite the scroll protection aura, it's just not enough. Large, huge scroll of healing there from the green side, and they will be able to top themselves off after getting it a rather rather plentiful units of yellow health bars there. Blade Master of Focus is dangerously low. Both Blade Masters are going to pop their bombs. 
and uh, Focus needs to get out of there, otherwise he's going to lose his Blade Master very soon. That is going to be a quick Blade Master kill there, and GG from the yellow team. Um, yeah, you can see how far behind Loliet fell because he was stuck at tier 1. Um, didn't, didn't get too much done with his Mass Huntresses there, so... And he didn't have a second hero, that's mainly because he didn't hit tier 2. So, yeah, might have to rethink uh, that kind of strategy, sticking to tier 1. It's rather not effective, I think, in 2v2 because... I mean, you could finish off one opponent, but then the op other opponent has a... You know, high-tech army. I don't know, it's a little weird. Uh, we'll see in game 2.